Hi everybody, Namaskar everybody. Welcome back to In Person the YouTube channel. In this video, particularly, I would like to talk about uh, CTET notification. CTET is L CTET is for the people who are job as teaching job aspirants in central government and also state government. The central eligibility test, teacher eligibility test, uh, which is meant for applying for the notifica job notification for teaching positions. And here in this video, I would, I would like to tell you complete details about the CTET, Central Teacher Eligibility Test. Uh, in this, you know, no, you can see that notification here in this. Uh, the Central Board of Secondary Education has given notification uh, for the CTET examination, 15th edition of Central Te Teacher Eligibility Test in CBT, uh, computer-based test only between uh, 12th December 2021 to 13th January 2022. The exact date of the examination will be given intimated on the admit card of the candidate. The test will be conducted in 20 languages throughout the country. The detailed information is there in the bulletin, information bulletin from the website ctet.nic.in, which is effective from 20th September 2021 that you can apply. What is the amount you need to pay? There are two papers actually. I'll tell you the complete details about the papers and eligibility conditions in from the bulletin. Uh, for uh, appearing single paper for general and OBC candidates, thousand rupees to be paid. And for both the papers one and two, 1200 rupees for general and OBC candidates. And for SCST and differently abled people, have to pay 500 rupees for single paper for both the papers 600 rupees and i'll tell you the other details like you know uh, the last date uh, for appearing uh, applying i'll tell you the complete bulletin uh, of this particular notification this is the bulletin uh, for the as per the notification given in this uh, website information bulletin seated december 21 and the date of submission of online application from 20th September 2021 to 19th October 2021. The last date is 19th October and also last date for submission of fee 20th October by 1530 hours. And the dates of examination between 16th December 2021 and 13th January 2022, especially CBT mode. Previously, offline exam used to be conducted by Central Board of Secondary Education, Delhi. So the, the, the details, other details, like, you know, you can see that date of examination, as I told you, and the complete details here in this, you know, what is that, the procedure we need to do, uh, method of submission of online application form, log on to CTET official website, https colon double slash uh, ctet.nic.in step two go to the link apply online open the same and fill fill in the online application form and note down the registration number or application number step four upload scanned images of latest photograph and signature pay pay examination fee by each alan or debit or credit card and net banking also print confirmation page for record and future reference and registration procedure and all we can see from this and the, the point another point uh, uh, the most important point is that uh, what is that uh, size uh, scanned photograph and uh, signature uh, photograph should be less than 100 kb with the 3.5 uh, cm 3.5 centimeters width 4.5 centimeters height and signature uh, less than 30 kb and length should be 3.5 centimeters and height should be 1.5 centimeter in jpg format and payment of payment details i already told you and what is this paper one and two that i will discuss uh, the main important point is that who are eligible for paper one and two we will discuss that one so here it is uh, you know Of course, paper one uh, and two, paper one will be conducted 9.30 to 12 noon, 9.30 a.m. to 12 noon. Pa paper two, sorry, 
uh, shift th there will be two different shifts every day shift 1 9 32 12 noon and shift 2 12 32 5 pm 200 of hours paper and online application process and all you can do that and moreover the another important information i would like to pass on uh, once if you appear seated and uh, scores the best uh, will be valid lifetime will be valid for lifetime and another one no minus marking will be there in the examination and the teacher eligibility test eligibility you know secondary senior secondary secondary and primary pre primary and upper primary as per the conditions uh, eligibility uh, kvs and also nvs some nvs you can see all those conditions the graduates are eligible for this and uh, you know for paper one and two we will discuss what is this paper one paper one will be for a person uh, who intends to be a teacher for class uh, teaching classes first to uh, fifth standards and paper two will be uh, intended for a person uh, intended for a person who intends to be a teacher for teaching classes sixth standard to eighth standard so that uh, the paper will be based on uh, child development and pedagogy compulsory 30 questions 30 marks language one and two are also compulsory 30 30 60 60 marks 60 questions and mathematics 30 questions 30 marks and environmental studies 30 questions 30 marks altogether 150 marks and for this you know in any language you can write uh, language codes are also being given here english one suppose hindi two telugu 18 tamil 17 something like that okay you can also apply uh, for uh, paper two uh, based on the syllabus uh, child development and pedagogy compulsory language one and two are compulsory and mathematics and science for maths teachers maths and science teachers 60 mcqs and for social studies and social sciences uh, for uh, 60 questions 60 marks 150 questions. no minus marking will be there for these papers if you are if you are interested to appear both the papers you can apply for both the papers and uh, languages will be the same codes here you can see that and language of the question paper main question paper shall be bilingual both hindi and english and qualifying marks are about 50 60 percentage uh, more than in the test uh, you know, exam will be considered as TET pass. This is the most important point. You need to cross more than 60%. 60 and above are called qualified people in the seated. Whereas uh, some conditions are there, uh, this is very, very important eligibility criteria certificate. They should be given weightage to the CTET scores in the recruitment process. However, qualifying the CTET would not confer a right to right on any person for recruitment and employment, as it is only for of the eligibility criteria for appointment. So that you just try to uh, score um, uh, and, um, the best score, which will be very much useful for weightage at the time of uh, teachers recruitment process. So that you can write n number of times to increase the percentage and validity period of seated certificate, uh, you know, uh, qualifying certificate for appointment will be for the lifetime for all categories. There is no restriction on the number of attempts a person can take for acquiring a seated can certificate. A person who has qualified seated may also appear again for improving the score. The examination centers and all here in this, you can see that. And you can download the admit card of CTET examination. And uh, the candidate shall report at the examination center 7.30 a.m. for the first shift and 12.30 uh, p.m. for the second shift. 20, 120 minutes before the commencement of the, the examination that has been strictly followed. And candidate who reports at the examination center after 9.30 and for shift one and for shift two after 2.30 p.m will not be allowed to appear the examination. So that uh, make sure to reach the center before, I mean, uh, before 9.30 uh, for the morning session, before 2.30 for the afternoon session. And procedure for conduct examination at all, you can see that you can apply, uh, apply online and appear the exam and secure the best job in teaching, 
teaching profession, uh, which is more and more valid certificate through once if you get the best score, it will be valid for, for lifetime. Lifetime validity is there, of course. So they try to prepare, uh, get ready for the, the right preparation and secure the best score in the CTET and apply for uh, central government and state government teaching positions. And uh, wish you good luck and keep watching my channel, InfoSundar YouTube channel. If you are not subscriber, you please subscribe to get more and more updates even in the future. Thank you one and all for watching this video.